What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, as you can tell, we're going to be working on the RAV4. So today's video, we're going to be installing a brand new TRD Pro Grill. So as you can tell, it's going to look really good. So if you guys do have a RAV4 like this, you guys can watch this video. We're going to go ahead and show you guys a in-depth how to install. It's going to look great and it's going to be pretty uh, simple if you guys follow these steps. Let's go ahead and now get into the video and we'll show you guys exactly how it's done. Let's do it. So before we get into the installation process, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know. If you guys do have a Tacoma and you guys do also wanna install a TRD Pro grill, make sure to check out the description box below because we've done a video like this in the past on the Tacoma. So now for today, of course, we're gonna be working on the RAV4. We're gonna show you guys exactly what comes inside the box and then we're gonna go ahead and kind of set it up for you guys and then we'll go ahead and get to the car and install it. And if you guys do end up wanting to purchase this one for the fifth gen RAV4s, we'll also link that in the description box below. Let's go ahead and I'll show you you guys and start setting this up so what's gonna come in the box is gonna be the main grill section the garnish section and in the box you're gonna have eight sets of screws uh, you're gonna have four small ones and four big ones we're gonna show you where those go right now so start off with we're gonna flip this around put the toilet emblem put it in its spot and the small screws are gonna be for the garnish section in the middle as you can see holes are right there just screw them in. All right, you guys, so now that we've uh, put the smaller screws in, as you can tell, one, two, three, and four. So that's it, super easy. Let's go ahead and now get to the next step. All right, you guys, so now that we showed you guys how to set this up, up next, we're gonna now move on to the actual RAV4 and start showing you guys exactly what you're gonna need to remove to get this done. Don't be intimidated, it is a couple steps, but it's super simple if you guys follow them. Let's go ahead and now get started. Make sure you have the hood up. Let's go to over here on this side. The first step you're going to want to go ahead and do, as you could tell, we do have the wheel churned. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure to turn it um, opposite of where you're installing, meaning we're going to be working in this section here. So since we're working here, we have the wheel turned to the right side, so it gives us space. You'll see why. Let me get some light. We're going to start off with the driver's side. We already have our wheel turned away from where we're going to be working. So on both sides, you're going to be doing this. There's going to be two clips that you need to remove, and there's going to be one 10 millimeter bolt that you're going to need to remove. So looking right here, that's going to be our first clip that one's going to be you know right here in this section up next looking right up top right here is going to be the 10 millimeter bolt that you're going to need to remove once you do that we're going to now need to remove this clip that's up top right there and that's going to be it and you're going to want to do the same thing for the passenger side So once you have the clips here and that one bolt out, next step to do on this side is just pull this back and you will hear these clips disengage. Now for the purposes for removing the bumper, this is all you need. Once you're at this point, um, we'll show you what the next step is in removing the bumper for this side. Alright guys, now that we have this uh, flap um, removed, there's going to be another clip here on the inside as you can see here. That was right behind that fender cover. Pop that out, same thing. Then under this fender cover, there's another bo uh, clip right there. Move that one. Then this whole bumper section, you should just be able to give it a nice front yank. And we got it loose. All right, you guys, so now that you have the bumper loose on this side, the fender trim is loose, and you're kind of good to go, up next, what you want to do is, of course, do the same thing that you did on this side, do it to the opposite side, and then just remember the tip on the tire, just kind of move it away, so that way it gives you easy access uh, to work on that side. Once you do both sides, and now we're going to be moving onto the actual front piece of the bumper. Looking up here, that's going to be what's next. Let's do it. You're going to want to go ahead and get a 10 millimeter socket. The reason why is you're going to remove this bolt that's right here, you're going to remove this recessed bolt that's in here right here and then you're going to remove this one here and this bolt on this side so it's going to be a total of four little bolts that are along the way all right you guys so now that you removed the four little bolts one there one there one there and one there up next what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to go underneath the, the vehicle uh, we're going to be removing another couple 10 millimeters under there let's go ahead and do that now all right guys so now continuing with the removal of our bumper if we go to the bottom here 
you guys are gonna see six 10 millimeter bolts with Phillips heads in the middle. There's gonna be eight of them in the front holding the bumper onto the skid plate. And then if we continue on to the mud flaps, as you can see there, there's gonna be another three that need to get removed as it is attached to the skid plate. Once those are removed, we can continue on with the removal of the bumper. Hell yeah. And one thing I wanted to show you guys, this RAV4 is not gonna be a mall crawler. As you guys can tell on the skid plate, it's already bashed in. It doesn't even have a thousand miles. So make sure you guys are staying subscribed because we're gonna be doing some tests with this thing since it's already destroyed. Let's get it. And now we're moving on to the mud flaps, you guys. All right, now that that mud flap is removed, basically the whole bumper should be moving, as you guys can tell. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this mud flap. Uh, like we told you guys, there's gonna be three holding that on, and then we should be able to unsecure the bumper. It's that easy, you guys. Let's go ahead and pull back out and show you guys what's next. All right, guys. So now that we have the bumper pretty much off, as you can see, this is where it's very handy to have a buddy with you. You're going to have two plugs on this side of the, of the bumper. So driver's side. So there's the two plugs that were plugged in to this right here. So these are the two clips you guys have to worry about. If you guys can't remove these clips, I just wouldn't do it. The opposite side, you don't need to worry about it because there's nothing over there. It's just these ones. So let's go ahead and now move on to the actual bumper and start removing the stock grill so we can put the brand new one, the TRD Pro. Another thing we wanted to know, of course, since this is paint, um, I know Steve's RAV4 is already bashed in, we've scratched it and everything, but we're still trying to take care of it somehow. So we do have a blanket laid out right there just so that way we can go ahead and lay the bumper down on the floor i would recommend you guys do that as well let's go ahead and keep going now with the bumper removed a couple things we have to take off first being this wire harness here as you can see there are parts that are attached to the grill and the bracket for the actual radar sensor so just with a clip remover very simple just get under it and unclip it just like that and we're gonna go along the whole thing Now with the harness removed, we're gonna unclip this sensor. Same thing, just like with the bumper clips, just push down and pull out. Super easy. And this you do wanna be really careful because of course if you can't put that back on, that means your radar sensor ain't gonna work. Now we're gonna remove the bracket that holds the radar sensor. There's gonna be two screws here, two screws, four screws here actually. And it looks like there might be a couple screws under this weather stripping here that we will have to take off. So let's get those off right now. All right, and then of course, looking over here, you're gonna have a couple more screws. There's gonna be one there that he's taking off. There's gonna be one here. And then we'll show you guys what's next. Now at this point, we can remove these clips that hold the mounting bracket for the sensor oh yeah it's gonna be four of them along the way one there one there using the panel removal tool will make it a lot easier of course and then there's one and two right there super easy nothing too hard but you guys so of course now we removed that uh silver screw that was here silver screw that was there after that we then removed the clips that were along the way once you remove those clips up next focusing over here on the corner you're gonna go ahead and remove that little rubber and then it's gonna expose another little screw. So there's gonna be one on this side and then of course one on the opposite side. Super easy to remove it. Just like that. And then same thing on that side. You remove the seal and then it exposes the little screw. And then once you're done with that, let me go ahead and go on the other side so I can show you guys. So after that, it should kind of release it and then you can go ahead and just pop up the whole bracket just like that. And this section here is actually gonna help you to remove the actual grill. Um, so it does look like a lot of steps, but you can accomplish it. So don't be intimidated. So 
Up next, uh, looking along the whole stock grill, there's going to be a bunch of these little clips. And if you guys did watch my uh, TRD Pro install on the grill for the Tacoma, it's going to be the same exact clips. You can get either a panel removal tool or just a flathead underneath those clips. It's just going to go all along the whole grill. Once we get that out, the whole grill should just fall right out. Super easy. <laughs> And as you can tell, we're almost to the end and it just falls right out that easy. And now we could go ahead and, of course, get rid of that old one, that ugly old one. Damn. And let's go ahead and now spit on it and then put the brand new TRD Pro in. Let's get it. We're at the point of the install where we do have to retrofit our radar sensor onto the new grill. For that, we are going to need four holes that is on the old mounting, which is going to be this this one and this one, the two bottom ones, and where we're gonna cut is around this mounting bolt and this mounting bolt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right here, right along the edge of this, straight across here, and then back down right here until we get just this se center section out with the radar sensor. The reason we're doing that is because of this section, we're gonna go ahead and now mount it on the new TRD Pro grill. As far as this whole front section, or I should say this whole top section, uh, that we're not gonna need anymore. So you guys will see why we need to cut this out. So for that, of course, you wanna go ahead and get yourself a little handy Dremel. If you guys do not have one of these bad boys, Harbor Freight has them for super cheap. Alright you guys, so now that we're satisfied with our cut, up next what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and flip this right over and we're going to be removing the actual sensors. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over. We're going to remove those two like I said. We're going to go ahead and remove that top little silver screw. Once you're done with that, the sensor will remove. And we're basically going to be flipping it on the opposite side, as you can tell, just like that. Once you have it there, go ahead and put the screws back on. Hand tight first, and then of course, then you can tighten them down right after that. Alright, so once you're done, this is basically going to be your finished product. So if you guys do remember, the sensor was on this side. Now all we did was just flip it on the opposite side. You guys will see why, but it's going to help us out on when we install the TRD Pro grill. And then another thing I did want to point out, so if you guys do remember, these four screws that did come with the grill, these are going to come in handy with installing this whole bracket. Uh, we're going to be putting them, of course, right here. And then it's going to go on there. You guys will see why. You guys, so the next step, you want to go ahead and now grab the TRD Pro grill. You're going to want to go ahead and go to the back side of it. So we're going to go ahead and flip it. Um, so now up next, you want to go ahead and get the piece that you did cut off. And of course, now we have the sensor mounted to that piece that we cut off. And noticing right here towards the bottom is where we did cut it from the top section of that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now kind of mount it up. You're going to want to go ahead and line up the holes, of course. But like I said, noticing the cutout where we did cut it off is facing towards the bottom. So make sure you take that, uh, make sure you take note on that. So cutout is towards the bottom and then uh, the fresh side is towards the top. So when we took it off the vehicle, technically it was like this. Now we're flipping it on its bottom side. So we're gonna go ahead and now, like I said, line up the holes and put the four screws that were provided and then we'll go from there. Guys, so now that you've mounted on the bracket that we cut out, so I'm going to go ahead and recap. Of course, this bottom section is, of course, the one that was cut out. And then just make sure you take note on that. And another thing I want you guys to take note on, noticing right here the sensor is pointing to the right side, which is going to be the passenger side when it's installed. So noticing the sensor is going to be connected from this side. So take note on that. That way you guys do put this in correctly. So it was super easy. Now all we got to do is go ahead and go to the bumper, put it on, and show you guys. Let's so right now what he's doing basically is uh, the clips. He's just going to go ahead and align them all along the way right here. And then the grill should just insert basically on its own. It's going to clip in super easy, nothing too hard. 
and then we'll go from there like I said you just do the reverse steps from when you took it off and then you'll be good to go Oh, Alright you guys, so now that you've of course clipped in the whole way around on the grill, one thing I did want to touch note on is of course this is an aftermarket grill, so it might not fit 100% flush all the way around, don't expect of course OEM quality, but it does look freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, look back on the back side, so I did want to let you guys know if it is a little bit loose, um, all you got to do is just kind of pull up on the clips and then it should kind of uh, just realign itself and just kind of give it a little tug make sure it's of course not going to fall off and then once you're good there the next thing we're going to do of course is now reconnect the sensor um, we're going to show you guys on this so um, of course on some of the clips when you are putting it back they are going to clip in super easy just kind of the way you took it off but on some of them since we did kind of cut off some of the section that was at the top some of them are not going to go back in because there's not going to be a location for it so we were just kind of mocking this up, so noticing like right there, something like that, and then we'll just get a zip tie, tie it up, and then same thing up there, and then just kind of all along the way. So if you notice on some of them, they're not gonna be able to clip in, just take note on that, you can zip tie it just out of the way. So one thing I did wanna note, so of course we have it now clipped in like I was telling you guys, and in those sections at the top where you have no clips to be able to put it into anymore, um, those ones you could just go ahead and zip tie. But one thing we did do is we actually did flip the sensor. So just disregard what I said about this connection being on the right side. Uh, make sure your connection is actually on the left driver's side. Uh, I did make a quick mistake on that super easy fix all we had to do is remove the two screws that were holding it down we flipped it and now we're good to go so just make sure right here that the Toyota emblem is facing towards the top and then you'll be good so let's move on to the next step so of course now you're gonna have some extra screws and clips of course that was from the top section that was here that we did cut off don't worry though, uh, the clips uh, you are gonna, you could reuse just so that way you don't have empty holes here. And then of course on the screws, those you can either toss or hold on for something else. So just like that, all we're gonna do is just kinda clip it in. They have no use anymore, but we just wanted to put them back so that way there's no, like I said, empty holes and it doesn't look ugly. Alright you guys, so now that you've put in all the clips and everything's back together, you've connected the harness that's behind here and everything's good to go. So basically here's your finished product. So now that we did finish the installation process, as you can tell, it looks really good. So if you guys do end up wanting to purchase this same TRD Pro grill, make sure to check out the description box below. And like I said, we already did one on the Tacoma. So if you guys do have a Tacoma, you could check that video out. That'll also be in the description box below. It looks really good in my honest opinion. Um, so as long as you guys do follow these exact steps that we both just uh, showed you guys, you guys will be good to go and it'll look good just like this. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Raptor Lights coming soon.